Right now, no need to worry about mowing the grass this month. Find out what initiative the city of Madison is taking part in and what all the buzz is about. Plus, the latest on that deadly pileup caused by a dust storm in Illinois as authorities continue to identify victims. And the Biden administration says it is moving hundreds of military personnel to the U.S.-Mexico border to help with a potential influx of migrants in the next few days. That's all coming up at 10. If mowing lawns isn't your favorite chore to do for one month, the city of Madison is letting you off the hook. Arman Rahman has more on how they hope to give you and the bees a break. It's a sound that signals spring and summer. It is the occasional way to get outside and be active. Otherwise, usually I don't do anything. But the city of Madison hopes that for this month, the hum of mowers is lower. Mow your lawn maybe twice this month instead of every seven to 10 days. The city is pushing low mow May because habitat loss, pesticide use, and climate change could be on track to wipe out 40% of Earth's pollinator species. Research shows that lawn heights of five inches or more support the most bees where there are lawn flowers like violets and clovers and dandelions. Normally, building inspectors weed out or are tipped off to grass higher than eight inches. And if it's not cut after a notice and inspection, they issue fines up to $313. But this month, they're not enforcing that tall grass ordinance. Now, in terms of other cities in the area, Madison's the only one asking you to just limit your lawnmower usage. Cities like Monona and Verona, they're saying no mow may. Not crazy tall, but just like somewhat tall is, is best. Some residents say it'll definitely be a change. We do it like twice every month. When it's like summer, we do it like probably thrice every month because it gets so tall so fast. But the city says for one month, if you fought the lawn and the lawn won, the environment will be a little better off. If you can just kind of get through the month of May with maybe a little bit of an eyesore, it's going to be worth it. Though if it's one of your chores... What do you think that excuse would fly with Dale? No, not at all. <laughs> In Madison, Armand Rahman, News 3 Now. The initiative is also part of Madison's commitment as a B city. Appleton claims to be the first city in the United States to adopt no mo May. That was back in 2020. And the grass and pollinators will certainly be enjoying the warm-up coming this week. Let's check your first warm forecast with Julian Seawright. That's the best part about it, Charlie. We just got to get there at this point. The winds are already starting to taper off in terms of intensity. We went from near 40 miles per hour gusts throughout southern Wisconsin, especially here in Madison, to now we're at a nice 23. Still a little bit breezy, but folks, we are close to where we're not having to deal with the winds or the cold in the days to come. And now as we take a look at how else we're going to be panning for the rest of tonight, well, well, tonight's going to be one of those where we fall near freezing for us here in Madison. Looking ahead, temperatures right now 43 degrees and as cloud cover continues to clear, we're going to get that radial cooling, which is going to drop temperatures rather quickly as we get into the overnight. So by the time we're heading out the door, you're definitely going to need that coat once again as it's going to feel like it is near freezing. Now for tomorrow, it is the start of pretty much a new week. We started this week cool, chilly, and rather windy. Well, tomorrow will be a little bit breezy, but very cloudy temperatures into the 60s and that's just the start for the return of 60s and potentially even 70s as we get into the rest of this week. We'll be talking about the much better weather that you'll just fall in love with in a few moments. Until then, back to you guys. Julian, thank you. Illinois authorities have raised the death toll now from yesterday's pileup on I-55 to seven. This after discovering yet another body. 37 people were taken to hospitals to be treated for injuries. Officials say 72 total vehicles were involved. This rare dust storm swept through nearby farms onto the freeway in central Illinois, causing near zero visibility. All the crashes took place on a two mile stretch of road. It's simply a terrible, terrible tragedy. Uh, it's, it was a terrible day here in this part of the state and for the families uh, that were affected by this. Meanwhile, 88-year-old Shirley Harper of Franklin, Wisconsin, just outside Milwaukee, was the first fatality identified. Authorities are struggling to identify two of the victims because of the extent of their injuries. Cleanup is still ongoing after a train derailed near Highway 35 in Crawford County. So far, crews have cleared up all of the major materials, including engines, rail cars, and hazardous materials. Crawford County Emergency Management Director Jim Hackett says Highway 35 is expected to open tomorrow. The cause of the derailment is under federal investigation. The Federal Railroad Association says it could take 30 days or more to find out
about what caused it. A video of a UW-Madison student making racist comments is spreading online. I'm gonna go back and haunt every little <laughs> Give me your lung. I literally hate all of them. I'm gonna make them pick iron in the fields. Since that video has come out, students have been talking about it. One UW freshman says she's been vocal on her Instagram account about the harm these words cause on campus and in the surrounding area. Madison has a pretty um, big reputation about being left-leaning and liberal and open, but I think a lot of the times we see these things happen, we're like, oh, this would never happen here, but it's pretty common, especially um, as a black student, seeing these things being said. In a statement online, university officials said the dean of students' office is looking into that video and supporting students and employees who were affected. They also said they cannot limit what students and employees post to their personal social media accounts and can't take action against posts that are not unlawful. A Madison man who prosecutors said stole a gun will spend the next two and a half years behind bars. 20-year-old Aiden Johnson was sentenced to 30 months in prison. Johnson pleaded guilty last month to charges of receiving a stolen firearm. Prosecutors alleged Johnson stole a gun in March of 2022 and allegedly posted photos and videos of himself with it on social media. He will have three years of supervised release following his prison term. In just over a week, a pandemic-era immigration policy expires, giving migrants a greater chance of being allowed into the United States. Customs and Border Protection is getting a boost from the Pentagon as it prepares for a significant increase in asylum seekers. CBS's Nicole D'Antonio has details. The Biden administration is preparing for a surge at the southern border, sending 1,500 troops to help Customs and Border Protection. These personnel will be performing administrative tasks like data entry and warehouse support. They will not be performing law enforcement functions or interacting with immigrants or migrants. Next week, the Trump-era immigration policy known as Title 42 is set to expire. That will end the ability to use the pandemic as a reason to deny entry into the U.S. The Pentagon says the soldiers will be deployed for 90 days, adding to the already 2,500 National Guard members at the border. These troops arrive as early as uh, May 10th. The administration is preparing for as many as 10,000 migrants to cross at the border next week, almost doubling the daily average from March. Title 42 might as well already have been lifted. And this Texas is, Republican this is Tony Gonzalez represents El Paso, which has seen a 130 percent spike in arrivals at the border. The administration needs to be sending uh, judges to the border. And these judges need to get these asylum cases heard in days, not years. Congress has struggled to tackle immigration reform, even though both sides agree there's a crisis. The current situation is intolerable. There need to be more resources. Hundreds of migrants are waiting just a few feet from the U.S., hoping to seek asylum. Nicole D'Antonio, CBS News, Washington. The White House says judges and lawyers are heading to the border to handle expedited removal proceedings, and those who do not qualify for asylum will be removed in a matter of days or weeks. To Oklahoma now, where there are new details about multiple bodies being found at a home belonging to a registered sex offender. Authorities believe two teenage girls who had been the subject of an endangered missing advisory are among the dead. Seven bodies were discovered at the home of 39-year-old Jesse McFadden. Officials identified McFadden as one of the dead and believe 14-year-old Ivy Webster and 16-year-old Brittany Brewer were two of the others. Webster's parents say they had known the McFadden since 2020, but did not know that Jesse McFadden was a registered sex offender or that he was set to stand trial for a solicitation of a minor. Investigators have shared few details of what they believe happened. There's no suspect at large that we are looking for right at this moment, so that's the most important thing. Ivy's mother says she messaged Ivy via Snapchat until around midnight Saturday. She says Jesse McFadden called Sunday saying they were in a nearby town and there was a bad connection. After a desperate four-day manhunt, authorities say they have captured the suspect in the mass shooting that killed five people in Cleveland, Texas. Authorities say the alleged gunman, 38-year-old Francisco Oropesa, gunned down his neighbors Friday after they asked him to stop firing off rounds in his yard. Oropesa was found in a closet in a home in the town of Cut and Shoot. That's about 17 miles from where the murders took place. He's now being held on a $5 million bond. Authorities are now investigating whether he had any help in hiding from law enforcement for days. Tyree Nichols' family is supporting the Shelby County District Attorney's decision to not charge former Officer Preston Hemphill in his death. 
Hemphill was seen on body cam video firing a taser at Nichols at his initial traffic stop in January. He was not present when police caught up to Nichols after he fled and beat him to death. Attorneys for Nichols's family say Hemphill has promised to cooperate with the investigation and they hope that will help bring accountability to the officers who beat Nichols. In California, three stabbings over several days near the campus at UC Davis have left that community <laughs> on edge. Officials say the latest stabbing Monday sent a woman to the hospital in critical condition after being stabbed more than once through her tent in a transient camp. This after the killings of a senior at the college and a 50-year-old man at different parks near campus. The FBI has joined state and local law enforcement in a manhunt for the suspect. We are using every available resource to solve these crimes, to bring an end to this violence, and to keep our community safe. Although police haven't officially connected the three stabbings and the victims weren't known to each other, they say there are common factors. The attacks were brutal and the suspect used a knife. Meanwhile, a newly released autopsy report is shedding new light on Cash App founder Bob Lee's death. Lee was stabbed to death in San Francisco last month. According to the report, he suffered knife wounds to his heart and one lung. The toxicology report shows Lee had cocaine, ketamine, and alcohol in his system at the time, but they say they were not indicated as factors in his death. Nima Momeni, a tech industry associate of Lee's, has been charged with murder in Lee's death. Back in Wisconsin, the Office of School Safety announced they are holding additional trainings for those interested in joining one of the 12 critical incident response teams. CIRTs are designed to provide all Wisconsin K-12 public, private, charter, and tribal schools with access to a regionally based team to support them if a critical incident ever occurs at their school. This comes into play when there is a traumatic event that is unexpected and impacts uh, multiple people in a school. Uh, our director can give you the, the def working definition that we use uh, to define exactly what type of event it is. But the idea is if there's a traumatic incident, there's going to be a law enforcement response, but we also want to make sure that everybody in the school is supported and gets the resources they need so they can get back to learning as soon as possible. Training will equip team members with techniques rooted in best practice for response after a critical incident occurs. Governor Ebers today appointing two new regents to the board and reappointing another. Jim Cruiser and Evan Brankis are set to fill two vacancies at the UW Board of Regents. While Joan Prince was reappointed after talk, uh, taking over for Tracy Klein in February, Cruiser previously served as Kenosha County Executive from 2008 to 2022. Brankis is a First Nations and math student at UW-Green Bay where he works as a resident mentor. When we come back, things are starting to warm up for the rest of the work week. Julian returns with a complete look at your forecast. But first, Hollywood writers are now on strike after contract negotiations fail. How it could affect what you watch and stream. Turn your low energy into big fitness energy at Planet Fitness. Now through May 10th, join for $1 down, $10 a month, cancel anytime. Our clean and spacious, judgment-free zone has equipment for every workout. Join today. $1 down, $10 a month, cancel anytime. Deal ends Wednesday, May 10th. I had a lot of bad days with gout, but that one took the wedding cake. Even with medicine, my uric acid was still too high to stop painful gout buildup. Then a gout specialist told me about Cristexa. Cristexa is a prescription medicine for adults with gout whose symptoms are not controlled by other gout medicines. I learned Cristexa quickly starts working to break down gout buildup. Cristexa is an infused medicine. Serious life-threatening allergic reactions can occur while taking Cristexa. Tell your doctor right away if you have symptoms such as shortness of breath, trouble breathing, dizziness, itching, or swelling of the throat or tongue. Cristexa is not recommended if you have high levels of uric acid without a history of gout. Do not take Cristexa if you have a rare disorder called G6PD deficiency or favism. Before receiving Cristexa, tell your doctor if you have a history of heart problems in all the medicines you take. Cristexa may cause gout flare-ups, allergic reactions, nausea, bruising, sore throat, constipation, chest pain, and vomiting. I received Cristexa for about six months. Now I'm in control, not gout. Find a doctor who specializes in gout at goutdocnow.com. Alien tape is strong enough to hold this fishbowl on a moving car. Just peel and stick and make anything stay in place quick. A wooden shelf, a basket to glass, rugs to the floor, and so much more. Alien tape sticks to brick, pavers, marble, tile, plastic, even leather. Nothing works better. Alien tape secures in seconds, then twist, pull, and rinse to reuse. You're dying to try it. Here's your chance to buy it. Call 1-800-490-1347 or go to tryaliantape.com. That's 1-800-490-1347. I won! I won!
Want the speed to finally defeat your mortal enemy? Oh, there he is! I won! Only Spectrum gives you speed boost for the fastest wireless speeds in the palm of your hand. Get game-changing speed with Speed Boost only with Spectrum One. Turn your low energy into big fitness energy at Planet Fitness. Now through May 10th, join for $1 down, $10 a month, cancel anytime. Our clean and spacious, judgment-free zone has equipment for every workout. Join today. $1 down, $10 a month, cancel anytime. Deal ends Wednesday, May 10th. They captivated the nation. 9.9 .9 million watched the game. Now the ladies of the LSU basketball team take on the Jennifer Hudson Show. Y'all are leveling up women's basketball. On the next Jennifer Hudson Show at 3. You're watching News 3 Now at 10. Your favorite late night shows will likely go dark tonight now that 11,000 union writers have walked off the job. Following months of negotiations, the Writers Guild of America went on strike at midnight. The major issue is compensation. The union says writers are making less money in the age of streaming, while companies like Amazon, Disney, Netflix, and Paramount are flourishing. Studios say their budgets are maxed out. So we're going to have an existential crisis where we're creating all of this creative product that these companies are making billions of dollars off of, yet we're not getting paid a very, very small percentage of that. The last writer's strike was back in 2007, which lasted 100 days. Hollywood lost $2 billion, and that's when the rise of reality TV began. Right now, the two sides are far apart in the negotiating process, and there are no scheduled talks. They used to be teenagers would count down the days until they got their driver's license, but that doesn't seem to be the case anymore. In fact, more teens are now waiting to start driving. The Federal Highway Tra uh, Traffic Safety Administration reports back in 1993, more than 42% of 16-year-olds had their driver's license. That's now down to just 25%. In the same time period, the rate of 18-year-olds with licenses has dropped from 72% to just below 60%. So what changed? Well, one reason may be that it's easier to get away without a license by using rideshare apps like Uber. Another is the cost of insurance. And speaking of insurance, check this out. Close call for a Virginia police officer. They were nearly hit by a car. You can see as a 17-year-old driver lost control of their vehicle coming around oh. the turn at a high rate of speed. No. The BMW then crossed the median and strikes the pulled over vehicle. And then the officer as well, amazingly, both drivers and the officer only suffered minor injuries. The juvenile was charged with reckless driving. Wow. All right, now to an update on a recall of gold metal flour over a salmonella outbreak. The CDC has tracked that outbreak to a facility in Missouri. The recall includes two and five pound bags of bleached all-purpose flour and five and 10 pound bags of unbleached all-purpose flour with better have used by dates of March 27th and 28th of 2024. So far, at least 13 people in 12 states have been infected. Many of them reported eating raw dough or batter so here's the thing, you will not get sick if you cook the flour before you eat it. I have to avoid that temptation. <laughs> Temperatures Please do. will be much warmer for the rest of the week. Julian's back now with a complete look at the forecast. We're all ready for a little bit warmer weather. I know, it's kind of like... Let's do this up here. It's almost like... <laughs> I love that. It's almost like Christmas for us, though. It's something that we've been waiting for and have mm -hmm. been excited because it's been so cold and windy. Now we're finally going to break that. Getting into our weather headlines. The three things we'll need to know. Of course, the first one is that it is going to warm up, folks. We're looking at 60s and 70s for the next several days. Taking a look at what we have on tap. We're looking at milder weather and dry weather for the next several days. We could see a couple of isolated showers heading in for certain time periods, mainly going into our Thursday nights, early Friday morning. But we're not looking for widespread rain for the next few days, but we will have some more shower and unsettled activity coming in for our Sunday and for next week. But until we get there, here's how we can talk about the weather that you're just going to fall in love with. But right now, we're going to start with something that many of us have probably been talking about all week, and that is the fact that we have an Omega block. Now, it's pretty much the jet stream, which is symbolizing an Omega symbol throughout the atmosphere. As you can see, we have this one system over towards the western side of the west coast, and then another system over towards the eastern side. Now, the east and the west have been bringing in rain and even some snow to some areas, but with this very stout system, which really is blocking much of any kind of real changes, that's why much of the Midwest and the South has stayed rather dry. But because of this real large dip 
into our jet stream coming into the upper Midwest, we've had cooler weather and on top of it, rather windy conditions as well, which has impacted us to start the week because it's why we've been cooler and windy and why things have been rather dry just west of Minneapolis. Now we are going to be starting to see some of these changes over the next couple of days and tomorrow is going to be one of them. Why? Well, we're looking at temperatures to finally break out of the 50s into the lower 60s and sunshine to start off our uh, Wednesday morning. But cloud cover in itself will start to build right back once we get into our Wednesday afternoon and the evening hours. But until then, enjoy the lower 60s and some of the sun that we will have throughout the course of the day. It's going to be rather brief, but we will still see peaks of sunshine like we have been throughout the course of our Tuesday and even for our Monday. But Wednesday in itself, going into our morning hours, make sure that you have your coats because you're going to need it. We're going to be seeing temperatures near freezing. Lunchtime and for the afternoon, evening hours, around the evening commute after work, temperatures are going to feel very comfortable. Cloud cover will build. Light winds coming in from the north will start to shift to the south as we get into our Thursday morning. And what does that mean? That means we're going to start to see a bit more moisture and on top of it, warmer air. 40s will be starting off our Thursday morning once we get into the afternoon around lunchtime. Already going to see winds picking up just a bit, but on top of it, mid 60s and some clouds will start to build just north of Madison. Five o'clock, lower 70s. It's going to feel really good. Winds aren't going to be too strong either. But as we get to our Thursday night transition into Friday, we can start to see a couple of pop up showers throughout many isolated areas, but it's not going to be very widespread. Now we are looking for more of a resurgence of that rain once we get into our Friday afternoon and potentially our Friday evening as well. That could pop up an isolated thunderstorm. But still, not looking for too much in terms of rainfall, about a tenth to a quarter of an inch. Overall, we're going to be seeing much better days ahead. And taking a look at our first one, 10 day forecast temperatures in the 70s from Thursday to Friday or at least near 70. Then for the weekend, that's right. Sunshine, a little bit breezy for Saturday, but 70s are going to be the theme. And the next week, be prepared for some unsettled weather and keep the rain gear nearby because we have some showers and thunderstorms. And coming up in sports, the fifth annual Casting for Kids is right around the corner. The best part for, of the day for Marco Siki? Well, that's next on News 3 Now. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Your family's year-round comfort is our year-round commitment at RG Heating and Air Conditioning. We install quality train equipment and service all brands so your home's furnace and AC will perform their best year-round. RG Heating and AC. Do you know the secret to having the perfect lawn? Maple Leaf Landscaping does. With their six-step turf care program, you can have a beautiful lawn all season long. Check their website for special discounts and leave the yard work to Maple Leaf, your year-round property care experts. Are record high energy and water costs putting a squeeze on your fixed or limited incomes? With inflation rising at record levels and incomes not keeping pace, you might be one of tens of thousands of Wisconsin residents who are struggling to survive. While you may not ask for it, the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund and your local energy assistance providers are here to help. No Wisconsin resident should ever have to be without heat, water, or power. For a hand up, apply today and call 1-800-506-5596. That's 800-506-5596. Or visit www.heat.help. Turn on Bionic Spotlight Extreme 360, the motion-activated home defense light that looks just like a security camera. It detects even the slightest motion and automatically triggers six ultra-bright LED high beams. Call or go online and order your Bionic Extreme 360 for just $19.99. Plus, get free shipping on your entire order. To order, call 1-800-501-5956 or go online to buybionic360.com. Call now. To everyone who appreciates a handcrafted meal, are you ready for a taste of Wisconsin? Butterburger's cooked fresh, just the way you like. The way you love. Definitely love. And our thick and creamy frozen custard, we make it for you all throughout the day. All day. All day, every day. Put it in the extra 
extra work and not cutting corners. It takes a little longer. But it's how we've always done it at Culver's, because making your meal with care shows how much we care. From Wisconsin with love. Welcome to Delicious. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Non-drowsy Claritin knocks out symptoms from over 200 allergens without knocking you out. Feel the clarity and make today the most wonderful time of the year. Live Claritin clear. At RG Heating and Air Conditioning, our promise to you is 100% satisfaction guaranteed. Guaranteed service, repairs, and replacements. Installing quality train equipment. RG Heating and AC. We'll always treat you like family. Guaranteed. Instead of picking up Jordan Love's fifth-year option, the Packers decided to give their first-year starting quarterback a one-year contract extension that would keep him in Green Bay through the 2024 season. The deal is worth up to $22.5 million, with 13 and a half of that guaranteed. On paper, it's a win-win for both sides. Now all that's left to do is see if Love can be the guy the franchise drafted him to be. It's been a cool process from the day we drafted him to see him now, just to see how he's matured um, in every facet of life. So I think he, you know, he, he definitely understands that he, he's the guy in charge. He's going to be the guy in the, in the huddle, and, um, you know, he's got to be an extension of us. And, you know, we're excited for him. We've got a lot of confidence in him. There's not a lot of better things than hockey and fishing, and when you combine the two, you get casting for kids. Marco Siki's fifth annual fundraiser is right around the corner. May 20th is the date for the fishing tournament, dinner, and auction, with the online auction already underway at castingforkids.org. And the best part, all the proceeds are donated to the American Family Children's Hospital and the UW Carbone Cancer Center. Raising funds, raising awareness, but we're putting smiles on people's faces, and, and you can see a difference happening uh, as our event continues to grow. This year, we're going to have, I think, three or four different families coming uh, that have been affected and have, have spent time at the hospital, uh, and they're going to share their story there. So that, that's what that's what this whole thing's about. Brewers opening up a six-game road trip with the Rockies, tied at two in the eighth, and. Elias Diaz rips one down the first baseline. That brings home the game-winning run. Brew Crew falls in Denver. 3-2 is your final. To the track we go, Madison City Outdoor Championships. We'll start with the boys. In the 4x2 relay, Madison West, Darius Thomas anchored the regions to a city title. Then in the 400-meter dash, LaFollette's Brian Matthews takes home first place in a time of 52.76 seconds. The Lancers won the team title. Same race on the girls' side, it's West Natalie Shore. She wins it in 104.03. And then in the 4x2 relay, Memorial's Morgan DeYoung anchors the Spartans to a win. They'd also take home the team title. We're back after this. your home's exterior protected with Menard's great selection of exterior paints and stains. Dutch Boy Exterior Stain and Sealer is dirt and scuff resistant to preserve the wood's natural beauty and begins repelling rain in just four hours after application. Pick up a gallon for $31.99 after sale price and rebate. Try Cabot Premium Stains and Finishes for unbeatable quality and protection against weathering for your exterior wood surfaces. Australian Timber Oil is $49.98 plus 11% off. Save big money at Menard. circle of life at the Lion King. Experience the world's number one musical. Don't miss your chance to see the Lion King, one of the most awe-inspiring productions ever brought to life on stage. Coming to Overture Center May 11th through 28th. Tickets on sale now at Overture.org. Do you trust your insurance agent? Do you trust your insurance company? Well, you'd better. Because all they've really sold you is a promise. A promise to be there when things go bad. A promise to take care of you. To step up. 
and put everything back the way it was. So if you don't trust your insurance company, maybe it's time to find one you do trust. West Bend, the worst brings out our best. Are you waking up in the morning with a sore jaw, headaches, maybe even ringing in your ears, all because you're grinding and clenching your teeth at night? That's exactly what was going on with me. That's when I found this, the Brux Night Guard. Now the Brux Night Guard redirects the bite force away from the back teeth, reducing jaw pain while still protecting the teeth. This unique design is what makes Brux Night Guard different from all other traditional grind guards. Go to BruxNightGuard.com and order yours today. Low E, also known as low energy, is wreaking havoc on millions. I can't even pull out the hose. Thankfully, there's Planet Fitness. Now through May 10th, join Planet Fitness for $1 down, $10 a month, cancel any time. It's how you turn your low E into big fitness energy. Our clean and spacious, judgment-free zone has equipment for every workout to keep you energized all day. Simply join through the free PF app for $1 down, $10 a month. No commitment, cancel any time. Deal ends Wednesday, May 10th. Exploring the price of perfection Thursday at 6. Julie's back. Final check of the forecast. Well, we're finally getting to the point we've all been waiting for. Warmer weather and some sunshine. We get it all in the next few days, even though some clouds will still be there too. We do have plenty of opportunities of peaks of sunshine. So for those who have been waiting for their plants to finally start to bloom a bit and, you know, think they're local meteorologists, well, this is going to be the <laughs> forecast to do it. <laughs> Heading into next week, though, folks, we do have plenty of opportunities for some showers or even some thunderstorms, but at least the 70s are sticking around for a little while longer. Julian, thanks, and thanks for joining us for News 3 Now at 10. Do something good, and we'll see you back here tomorrow.